Guys, take a look at this epic vending machine. We just go ahead and select any item that we want, drop down an emerald, and then we get that item in our item dropper. So take a look at this, guys. Now we have ourselves our diamond boots. How awesome is that? Woo! <laughs> Hey, what's up my fellow teammates? Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're doing another redstone tutorial. I'll be showing you guys how to create an awesome vending machine. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, this design over here is actually created by Mr. Crayfish. All credit goes to him. I'm just showing you guys how to build it so you can enjoy it for yourself in Minecraft. Now, this is really cool. You can go ahead and right click on the arrow to basically choose any item that you're pointing towards and purchase that item using one emerald. Now, you could set any current that you want and the only downside to this is that you can't actually change the value for each individual item the value that you set is going to be the value for every single thing you see here now of course you can add items that are equal in value that way you don't sell the diamond chest plate for the same price as maybe an iron boots but I just did this for for an example so basically when you go ahead and right click on this uh, arrow over here it also kind of makes some note block sounds which is pretty cool but anyways once you go ahead and uh, have this arrow pointing towards any item that we want we just drop down an emerald and we will get the item that it's pointing to so basically here's an iron chest plate when we drop down the um the emerald over there we should get our iron chest plate there we go pretty simple guys and we can do this with basically any item so there's the diamond boots drop down a emerald and that we should get the diamond boots in our droppers so here we go and there is our diamond boots so that's basically how it works guys it's very simple you could add yet again any items and any currency to the system so let's go Go ahead and get started and I'll show you guys how to build it okay so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and dig down three blocks so one two three place down your chest at the bottom two hoppers on top by shift and right clicking so let's go ahead and do that there we go place the second one on top then destroy two blocks over here two more blocks over here and then three blocks over here destroy three blocks here here two blocks here and two blocks right over here so now we're basically having an area where some blocks goes down in this area and then one block down in this area then we grab our comparator place it right over here place down your redstone repeater over here place down a bit of redstone here place down a um another redstone repeater right over here i believe and another one over here and then place down a bit of redstone right over there now what you need to do is go ahead and grab yourselves a torch and actually place the torch on this end and that should power up the redstone once you have that go ahead and place down a block of your choice right above here another one over here and place down a bit of redstone on top of that once you have that you could go ahead and basically cover up your system for now and we'll get back to adding a currency later so basically we just cover it up like so and then leave this bit of redstone over here exposed because now we're going to go ahead and build the selector system. Now, to do this, you want to go ahead and basically place down six or nine blocks like this right over here. Place down our iron frames in this configuration like so. And then what you could do is also add in a different block in the middle. That way it highlights the area. So what I like to do is place down a diamond block right over there. Then place down an iron frame. That way it's like highlighted. And then you could go ahead and place your arrow in the middle. Now once you have that, go ahead and grab another block of your choice and basically place it on top of this block right over here above the redstone. Build up two blocks over here, build up two blocks over here, place another block in between that, build up two blocks over here and place another block in between this one. And actually, uh, you would want to destroy this one over here. Now once you have that, go ahead and take a comparator, place one over here, here, and here. Now you, what you want to do is go ahead and extend the block from over here, eight blocks, to uh, this area so basically one two three four five six seven eight then grab yourselves a bunch of redstone repeaters and place eight of your redstone repeaters along this line right over here grab yourself some redstone and place it on top of these blocks so basically come over here place your redstone repeaters or your redstone dust on top next to your redstone repeaters. Once you have that, go ahead and grab yourselves another block of your choice. Shift and right click it again so you don't affect the uh, configuration for your redstone repeater. And make a line of blocks right over here. Once you have that, go ahead and make a line of blocks in front of your redstone repeaters. Grab yourself some more redstone repeaters and place it on this block right over here. And once you have that, go ahead and grab yourself some more redstone dust and place it on top of these blocks right over here. Alright, so the final thing you want to do is go ahead and place down another line of blocks in front of your redstone repeaters. Then grab yourself some redstone torches, place it on top, uh, under those blocks, and uh, on top of these blocks you want to go ahead and grab yourself some droppers. 
and we have those right over here. Oops, and what we need to do is basically take our dropper and place it facing up. And there we go. So once you have that, go ahead and now place one last dropper in this area right over here, facing towards the side. That way it does not like actually drop the item, but it keeps it in the dropper itself. Now, once you have that, go ahead and grab yourself some more hoppers, shift and right click and place your hopper going into our dropper and then place another hopper going into that hopper, bring it over to the side like so, bring it over here and then basically extend it on top of all of these droppers. That should collect the items that we need for us to dispense into our vending machine. All right, so there we go. That is basically um, a bunch of the uh, redstone already completed. What you need to do now is basically go ahead and place down another line of blocks on top of the uh, redstone repeaters over here. Then go ahead and place down some more blocks right over there. Now, the reason you want to place this set of blocks over here is basically so this redstone doesn't connect to this one. And once you have that, go ahead and grab yourself some more redstone dust and place it on top of this area right over here. Now, another thing you want to do is come over here to this area, place down a redstone torch, place down a block of your choice, and then extend it three blocks onto this way and curve it around. Once you have that, go ahead and grab yourself some more redstone dust. When you place it over here, it should be ignited by the redstone torch below it. Wrap it around and extend it to this entire area, which should then power all of the redstone located along our hoppers. All right, so another thing you want to do is go ahead and add the note blocks. So let's go ahead and grab those note blocks, and what you want to do is basically place it right over here. And then go ahead and grab yourselves a, um, another block of your choice. Come over to this location right over here. Place one block over there. And another block over here. Place down a note block on top of your comparator by shift and right clicking. Place another one right over there. Grab yourselves a redstone repeater. Place it going into that uh, note block. And then place another one going through that note block into this note block right over here. Destroy that block. And there we go. So that is the top of the system completed. All right. So one important thing I forgot to mention is that when you're placing down your comparator in the item collection area, you want to go ahead and destroy the block to the right. And then place down a block of redstone and then a bit of redstone on top of that. And the reason you want to do this is because if you place down any items into your item hopper without doing that it automatically gets dispensed into our chest and that's something that you don't want now after that you basically place back down your block over here and place down your bit of redstone on top of that yet again you come over here to your bottom hopper and place down 63 diamonds into your item hopper as you can see it is not moving into the chest at the moment and then you go ahead and place down four unstackable items swords are like the cheapest thing you can get besides shovels so you could go ahead and use that and then once you have that guys, I basically configured my diamonds in there since I use diamonds and you can use pretty much any currency that you want, any stackable currency and basically when I go ahead and take myself some diamonds, I could go ahead and use this to choose any item that I want. Now to set up the configuration for the items that you want, you basically want to go ahead and come over here and basically get like a bunch of colored wool. At least this is the way I do it. I basically choose a bunch of colored wool, place it onto our item frames and then I see which one dispenses which color and on the last one I will place down some yellow wool and that should work just fine all right so now we have our yellow wool in our inventory there we go guys that is basically the vending machine if you guys enjoyed it please take one second to smack the like button also leave a comment down below suggest any other ideas that you guys have in the comment section down below also if you guys did not see my Star Wars series go ahead and take a look at that it was pretty awesome I'll play the intro at the end of this video if you guys want to go check that out so you guys can enjoy it it's pretty cool it's a modded survival you guys get to see face cam on the next episode episode which is episode two and also you guys get to see a bunch of unfiltered gameplay where i'm just being myself and instead of you know showcasing stuff i'm just i'm doing a let's play anyways guys this was twist and i'll see you guys later Hello, sir. Have you come to purchase one of our fine machines? Hello. Yes, I'm looking for a new ride. Something that'll get me all the ladies. Oh, I see what you need. I have just the thing for you. Follow me. This year, baby, is our fastest spaceship ever made. There's nothing else like it out there. Huh, is that so? Oh, you bet. You know what'll prove it? What about test drive? I don't know. I'm not so sure about that. Wow, you were right. This is awesome. Haha, <laughs> see, I told you. One of a kind. 
What? What's happening? I, I don't. I don't know. Ready to engage. Oh no! 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 We're gonna die! Ah! Uh, what happened? Oh my God! Did the ship crash? Oh.